Well, hello, welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me. Uh, as always, I find I need to adjust my screen, having already fixed it. Good. We're going to have a look in repetition at the three sections of the Phoenix form today. I ask you to use the initial um, stages as a warm up. So please take it very gently at your own pace. Really what we do, what's called marking, um, which is just going through um, getting the postures, but not really pushing at all until uh, you have started to warm up. And you'll know yourself as you go how your body feels. So let's begin with our salute. We bring the feet together, right hand in fist, left hand straight, tucking back the thumb in front of the heart. We press forwards. Shia Sam Hao. And you can say Lao Shi Hao. Very good. Lao Shi Hao. Relax down, please. And we're going to begin with. Uh, straight in with the beginning of the form, the first five movements of the form. So we have our heels together, our toes apart. Even with this, we're going to do a little moment or two of wuji. This is to settle our minds and find ourselves arriving here and now. Let's lengthen up through the very top of the head, the chin slightly down and back, Taking a few moments to breathe and let go. Calming down. Listening to your body. Letting go through your body. All the way down through your legs. Into the feet into the floor. Calm down. And listen. Listen behind. Now let's find the hands, find the fingers, gently begin to press the fingers down. Feel for the strongest connection and begin with scoop. Right hand scoops under, expand and step left. Heaven and earth rotations, keep it very round. Right hand coming up, floating over and foot in. Sun and moon rotations. Look to the hand, thrashing tide, splashing river, squeeze and step separate, turning the toes, come under the arm, along the arm, make a circle, turn palms, and a half step. Good, that's mist forming pearl, let's finish, take a breath. So we're doing this 10 times, count it with me, that's your first set. And close. Good, okay. So I'm going to do it with my back to you. Actually, I'll do one more time facing it and I'll just be quiet and let you um, soak up any little details. All right, ready, begin. Check posture. Relax to center. And
from back to center. Well done. Okay, I'm going to turn my back. That's number two. Count with me. Two of ten. Make sure that I'm up. Oh. Caught up. Okay, are we ready? Check posture. Relax. To center. And right hand under heaven and earth rotations. Some of the rotations. Thrashing tide, splashing ribbon. Mist forming curl. Deep breath. Good, and again, please. Prepare. Coming down. So that was number three. This is number four. Begin. Look to the hand. Good, take a breath. Find center. And close. Good. So four out of ten. Uh, let's go again. If you know the choreography, now to now start to listen and feel for sensitivity. Feel for connection between your hands and your body, your organs. Notice how the movements affect you. Breathe into it. Release. Relax into it. Okay. Are we ready? Number five. Check posture, relax to center, begin. Stomach and spleen, lungs, large intestines. Kidneys and bladder. Liver and gallbladder. Heart and small intestines. Good. Doesn't matter which side you close, it's fine. Good. So was that number five? Help me out. That was five. Yep. Okay. So thank you. <laughs> number six. Ready? 
So hopefully you're starting to feel a bit warmer. I even felt that, you know, think, you know, little popping, clicking, crunching noises were happening. And that's normal if you haven't done a warm up. This is our warm up, so be gentle for number six. Okay, ready? Check posture. Relax through the body into the floor. And begin. Very good, number seven. This time, I'll give you a little, uh, little project each time. I'd like you to focus on the feeling of unified opening and closing. Feel the spirals that you're generating, feel the turning, expanding. It's kind of like the iris of a camera. You'll feel opening and closing. Pay attention to the whole body moving as one for set number seven. Are we ready? Check posture, relax to center. And Good. <clears throat> Doesn't it feel amazing how different it feels <laughs> when you focus on something slightly different? Let's try that again. Focus on the whole body moving together, arms and legs harmonizing together. Uh, it's not just the arms moving, the legs are moving with. Try again. Ready? Number eight. Prepare. Coming down. And begin.
find center and float. Good, number nine. Check posture. Each time, take a moment to let go through your body. Engage the fingers and Good, number 10, please. Check posture. Coming down. Letting go. This time, dance it out. Feel the joy of movement. Ready? And Very good. Easing from your stance, please. Have a little move around. See if there are any parts of your body that still feel that they need a bit more warming or a bit more stretching. Have a, have a bit of freestyle stretch. Give your body a quick MOT and notice, yeah, notice how you feel. Notice, are you warm? Good. If you do nothing else of this form, Master Locke recommends that we practice these first five moves. These look after the energy flowing through the organs of your body. Everything else is really a more general circulation. So you can do just general movements to circulate your energy. You can do your simple uh, sunshine fills the holes movement. So that will get the energy flowing. It's simple, but it's very effective. And you can do your S shape to change direction. You can do it with me now just to feel it. You notice straight away the heat um, that's generated by your sunshine fills the holes. As the name suggests, sunshine is warming. Good. It's for the triple burner. So it's to get the energy flowing so that the heat is switched on basically in your body. It's radiating and it's balancing to all of your system, including the organs we've just worked on. So if you're doing nothing else, practice those first five moves. And if you think, gosh, I've done that 10 times and I'm still not feeling great at it. Well, the, the ethos is you should do something 10,000 times to become proficient in it. That's not to become a master, that's to, to become proficient. So if you do this every day, if you're doing 10 times through and you want to do it 10,000 times, that if you do it every day for a thousand days, you'll have done it. <laughs> Easy. Um, so 
yeah, don't don't wreck yourself. Just slowly, slowly progress. It's very good. All right, well done. Let's now look at the triple burner section. This will be a calorie burning, um, quite intense for Tai Chi section of the form. Again, we're going to do it 10 times. Again, please pace yourself if you're starting to get warm. This will further warm you up. Um, so go softly at first. Stay within your comfortable limits. If you need to rest, please rest. All right, so I'm going to start doing it facing you for the first couple of times to give you um, any little insights um, that you might miss with my back to you. Okay, so we're starting from our, uh, the end of the heart exercise, mist forming pearl. And just in this position, please check your posture, feel the top of the head floating up, the chin slightly down and back. Feel the small of your back nice and full. Feel the tail hanging down. Breathe and relax. Ready? Start. Sunshine fills the hole. Right hand and fist. Immortal rides the donkey. Push the heel back. Square up, sit back. Phoenix stretches its wing. Dragon chases Phoenix. Swimming dragon. Reverse pouring gourd. Up the back, flipping the toes, down the front. And let's throw in, Phoenix greets the morning sun. Sit back, stretch forwards and up. Bring it in, left hand in fist. Step down and open. Good. Um, yeah, we'll do the next bit as well. Float up. <laughs> Just feels necessary, doesn't it? Up and over, take the weight back, and we'll do three scoops. We're actually starting the, the third section just to finish it off. Lovely. So that's the beginning of Phoenix in graceful clouds of blessing. Good. So uh, Master Lock tends to create a form and then name all the moves in the form and then name the form after a particular move. So the form is called Phoenix and Graceful Clouds of Blessing and so is that movement. It's called Phoenix and Graceful Clouds of Blessing. Good, let's do it again. Taking a breath, calming yourself down, checking your posture, letting go of tension. And we step back, pierce, release, square to the front and press away. Phoenix, uh, sorry, sunshine fills the holes. Ready, scoop, right hand in fist, flip the toes, immortal rides donkey. Pierce, push the heel out, square up, sit back. Phoenix stretches its wings. Dragon chasing Phoenix, square up, sit back, press away. Swimming dragon. Trailing the fingers behind 
and scoop. Lift up the back, flip the toes, down the front. This is reverse pouring gourd. There's the lower part of the gourd. And here is your phoenix greets the morning sun. Left hand in fist. There's the morning sun rising. Whee. And three scoops. One phoenix in graceful clouds of blessing. It's a normal cloud movement than your average, sorry, it's a more big movement than your average cloud hands. Relax down. I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Good. All right, relax and have a little shake out. So I'd like actually to do it facing you one more time. We've done this section twice. I'd like to do it one more time facing you before we continue with my back to you. The reason being is that there is a movement um, from your dragon chase, uh, where, where is it? So immortal rides donkey. Yeah, so here from your immortal rides donkey, you can straight away open your fist again. So you can open your fist and then it's very like your sunshine fills the holes with the open palm. And then as you push the heel back, you can make fist again. What we've been doing so far is you just stay in a fist. And that's absolutely fine. Heel back and there's your fist and then release. So it's an option, you can do it either way. I tend to pick one and stick with it, but this time I'm going to open the fist and then close the fist again. I think that would be particularly useful, say, if you have arth arthritis or painful hands, that holding a fist is actually uncomfortable. But either way, it's a very gentle fist. It's not a tight fist, it's for Qigong purposes, and it's really just to create a containment of energy. So you don't have to squeeze your fist at all. If you watch Master Lock in his videos, it's a very gentle little fist. It's not a martial fist. It's designed for energy. It's this kind of sending the energy back up the arm by creating a fist. So let's do that movement one more time, please. Ready? Uh, the whole section. And Open. And rest. Very good. Did you spot the immediate, the deliberate mistake? I was on autopilot. Let's do it one more time. And this time I will open the fist. I did open, but too late. So let's do it one more time facing. Um, it's really up to you. It's either way is fine. Um, there is a lot of leeway in this form for palm positions. So ready? And sorry, 
sorry, right, a left hand for you, relax down. No, I was right. Let's close, my mistake, sorry guys. Take a breath. You'd think it would get easier with repetition, but I am actually mirroring, so I'm flipping the whole time. Let's see, scoop, right hand and fist. Yeah, right hand and fist. Again, please. Hopefully you were on the ball and you were shouting at your screen. <laughs> it's your right hand. Okay, good, are we ready? One more time, come. And. Your right hand and fist. Now you can open and then close again. Good. That's your left hand and fist. Good, and rest. Well done. <sighs> I think I'm not a morning person today at all. I'm really struggling with the flipping, but you're doing very well, and that's the main thing. Okay, so you can see I'm so I've indoctrinated myself to stay in a fist. I did open, um, but I opened quite late. So let us briefly do that little section uh, from Immortals Ride the Donkey. So this is your alternative, and if you're like me, you've probably picked one and you're sticking with it, that's fine, but just so that you know it's an option. We're going to turn to the left, step open. Open the fist as you pierce up. So you're trailing the fingers, just like sunshine fills the holes, push the heel out, and then as you square up, you form your fist again. So that is your alternative in that section to then open the fist for, Dragon chases Phoenix. Okay, so maybe the easiest way is just to stay in a fist throughout, and that's absolutely fine. But if it's not comfortable, open the fist, trail, pushing the heel out, and make the fist again. Good. Okay, hopefully that has made it clearer. <laughs> Let's continue. So we'll say we've done that section five times let's do another five without interruption and i'm going to do it with you back to you all the same so see if you can get the palms to your liking see if you know what you're doing all right are we ready we go from here let's come a little bit closer right ready coming down and right hand and fist. You can open the fist. Now form the fist again. Good. 
out the back, over the head, down the front. Knee above, but not beyond the toes. Left hand and fist, keeping the palms facing up and release. Good, take a breath. Lovely. Ah, return to center and go. Very good. Okay, let's go again. Ready? Relax to center. And right hand in this. Knee out, square up. And rest. That was number seven. Good. Give yourself a moment. Breathe. We'll go again. Ready? Okay. Ah. Find your center. And close. Good. Number eight. Uh, do you feel that you're getting a workout? <laughs> you should do. Yeah. Um, it's, it is a strong, powerful workout. Uh, anything working on the triple burner um, is stretching the fascia. Um, so that phoenix greets the morning sun we're pressing forwards and up at the same time you're sitting down and back you're filling the small of your back so you should feel a real full body stretch that's what we're looking for in this section stretching not stretching on the line but stretching around the curve filling the back so this time feel into the sensation of releasing through a stretch uh, and you will further develop 
your triple burner section. Let's go for number nine. Are we ready? Breathe. And Trail your fingers behind. Feel to center and close. Beautiful, well done. Well, just before class, we were talking about sometimes people not sleeping. I would say you'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> Let's do one more set, please, of the triple burner section of the Phoenix form. Finding your corner, relaxing to center, calming down. And Stretch and release. Relaxing to center, breathe, feeling into your belly, and close. Well done. I think you've earned yourself a few seconds rest. <laughs> if you'd like to take a drink, now's a good chance, um, or just give yourself a little, a second little MOT. Notice how your body feels now. Notice, are you feeling or released, looser, um, notice your body temperature, notice your heart rate, notice your breathing. Notice your circulation, your energy. Do you feel energy in your limbs? Do you feel general energy? I would say probably feel quite 
<laughs> a week. No. Um, you might, you might feel that uh, you'd like to go and have a lie down. What I would discourage is to go straight from class to just boom, lying down. Take about 10 minutes to gently walk around and ease yourself um, from your activity into a more, I know it's calm, but um, just it, go from activity to inactivity, take 10 minutes and your recovery time will, um, will be reduced a lot. Uh, if you go from action to rest without anything in between, it is actually shocking to the body. It's like trying to slam on the brakes if you're driving at 60 miles an hour. It's, it's hard work, whereas actually we prefer to gently just our bodies prefer a gentle calming down. So please bear that in mind. Even if you feel you've worked really hard, take your time and just walk around the house. <laughs> Just do something very gentle with your body, but keep moving for 10 minutes. OK, so now we look at the highlight at the end of the form. We have the big circulations. We have already started doing them. Let's actually go from the beginning of the Phoenix Greets, um, sorry, the beginning of the uh, Phoenix and Graceful Clouds of Blessing. We have reverse rolling clouds and Phoenix couple return home, the last section of the form before we close. So um, do I want to do this facing you? I have a feeling actually, yeah, okay, I will. Uh, though the stepping back sideways um, can be a bit confusing. Um, so, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so let us go from, we have done our Phoenix greets the morning sun. We've stepped down and stepped open. Your left hand is in the fist. We open the fist and float up. And we're going to step and scoop. One, two, and three. We keep scooping and step across. We keep scooping. So we're stepping with the left foot, scooping with the right. Turn the toes to the corner. Twist your waist to the side and lower the ball, squash it down. So you're going to step back with your front foot, your left foot and left hand comes back. Then the right side comes back. Remember, we're mirroring. We're going to flip the toes to the corner. Right hand coming over and then your left hand coming over, bringing the foot for our right hand up, left hand down to press apart. We're going to swing the right hand underneath. We're going to turn and draw in towards the chest, not all the way, but towards left hand in fist, untwist and chase the fist with a half step. Good, release. And we do the same thing on the other side. So we swing, cross hands, turn and step, drawing in, Right hand in fist this time, untwist and chase the fist with your hand, half step. Expand, turn it to the front. We come in and open and take a deep breath. Relaxing to center, calming yourself and closing right. Good. Okay, so let's do that. One more. I'm going to do one more time facing you and um, for any hand, you know, any things that you might not see with my back to you. And then we'll do the other eight and um, all doing the same thing. All right. So we start from our Phoenix. Greeting the sun. <laughs> We've got a lot to get through, so we better do it. Open. Float up. And scoop one. Scoop two, scoop three, take the weight into the left as you step four, step five, flip the toes, turn the waist, squash it down, step back left, one, step back right, two, flip the toes, boom, boom, right hand over, left, separate, Top hand and fist, untwist, chase, expand, 
Left hand under, turn and step. In, top hand and twist, untwist and chase. Expand with crossed hands. Come in and open, deep breath. And relax down. Find your center, relaxing your elbows, relaxing your shoulders, close. Good, so that's two out of 10. Let's do it all together from here. Ready? Left hand in fist. Scoop, one, two, Three, four, five. Turn, squash it down. Stepping back left, open to your left. Step back right, front toes. Right over, left over. Flip, swing to cross wrists. Turn and in chase. Step and chase. Expand and a deep breath. And close. Beautiful. Well done. <laughs> feels like hurry up slowly <laughs> with more to do what was that that was number four three or four four excellent thank you number five please from here how to center and swallow down Graceful clouds of blessing. That was number five. Okay, straight on to number six. Are we ready? And Good, we're out of time, but we're gonna do one more set. So we'll seven, and then your homework is to do three on your own. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Left hand and fist, swallow down, step open, and...
Relax to center. And close. Beautiful. And heel tap. Oh, so near and yet so far. Just three more reps. So that's your homework, please. Of course, you can use this video again. If I didn't talk quite so much, as always, maybe we could have got that little bit more done. But um, I like to give you more than just cookie cutter Tai Chi. It's nice to learn a little thing or two as we go. Folks, I hope you have enjoyed this practice. You have worked incredibly hard. Let's just cycle back the legs, make sure that they're still behaving themselves. I'd like you to do a full 10 minutes gentle walking around, please. You can sit and stand up a few times just to calm your leg muscles, just doing a little bit of a down and up, down and up. So if you don't have much room in the house, just that little plie action is very nice to just gently pump the lymph back up and get everything calming rather than just stopping straight away. Let's have a little shake out, please. I'd like to thank you for, for coming and working so hard. I hope you feel that you're, uh, you're making strides. Uh, I can see it. I hope you can feel it as well. Let's take right hand and fist, please. Left hand straight together. Thank you. And you can say, Well done, everyone.